Hi everyone. So Google has announced the organization list for Google Summer of Code 2021. So the GNU Linux Users Group is here to bring you our latest video outlining the top 5 GSOC organizations for beginners to contribute to. We'll be going through the organizations, their tech stacks and ideas that they have put forward for Google Summer of Code 2021. So without further ado, let's begin. Now before moving on to the list itself, uh, let's just take a quick look at a few points that you should consider while choosing the right organization for yourself. The first thing that you should keep in mind is that whichever organization you pick, the programming languages and or technologies that are being used by that org should be somewhat familiar to you, right? Because this will allow you to pick up the new concepts and start contributing at the earliest possible time. Second, try to contribute to an org whose domain you are interested in yourself as it will make the learning process a lot smoother and much more fun. And lastly, try and pick multiple organizations that fit into this criteria to contribute as it will ultimately increase your chances of being selected. Okay, so now let's get into the list. So the list consists of organizations which mostly use Python and JavaScript for their projects as these languages have tons of resources to refer to and the learning process is, is much smoother than let's say C++ or Java. Also keep in mind one thing, uh, there isn't any inherent ordering amongst uh, these five organizations that I'm about to list. So choose the ones that you feel the most comfortable working with. So the first organization we'll be looking at is Internet Archive. So Internet Archive is a non-profit library of millions of free books, movies, software, music, websites, and more. It's basically a website that you can use to download media. They're also developers of the Wayback Machine, a popular extension that you can use to view snapshots of websites from the past. And they've been a GSOC organization since 2017. Now on the tech side, the projects you will have to work on are mostly web-based. So you need to be familiar with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can check out their ideas doc from GSOC's website. Uh, we personally would recommend checking out the book reader project specifically as it is mostly front end work and should be comparatively easier to work on. The next organization on our list is Wikimedia Foundation, which is the organization behind Wikipedia, you know, the free encyclopedia that we all use. The projects for this org are again, web based primarily. Uh, you have front-end focused ideas like, you know, updating the front page of the Wikimedia projects like Wikipedia, as well as back-end stuff like updating the web driver IO for all the repositories. JavaScript with Node.js, HTML, and CSS are the recommended skills for these projects. The third organization on our list is a new one called Bench Routes. Uh, it's basically a project for analyzing and monitoring APIs. Uh, this one is a little different from the other ones because apart from React.js, they also use Golang for their GSOC projects. Being a new organization, however, we do believe that it will be a great learning opportunity for you and the competition will be lower as well, thus increasing your chances of getting selected. Next, we have Software Heritage. The GSOC page describes this organization as an archival project for source code and its development history. It's also relatively New York, having participated in 2019, apart from this year. The ideas include improving the archive web UI and core product improvements. You'll primarily need Python and JavaScript skills to co contribute to this organization. The final organization we'll be covering is Rocket Chat. Rocket Chat has been a GSOC organization since 2017, and their project is an open source team chat and communications platform. And as a candidate, you will mostly be improving and adding new functionalities to this chat platform. Coming to the skills required, you will need to have an understanding of the popular MERN stack. That is, you know, MongoDB for the database, Express and Node for the backend, and React on the frontend in order to contribute to this organization. Check out their ideas page for the full catalog of ideas, including all the new functionalities and improvements that you have to make to this project. So that was a list of GSOC organizations 2021 that we believe will be great for beginners to start contributing to. 
However, there are a lot more organizations that we have not included in this list, but should also be considered for contribution. We have listed them in a document, which you will find in the description below. Again, if you like the video, a like is always appreciated. And if you wish to see more of this content, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.